Okay, I'm going to leave this file open, this part open of the lower hinge, and uh, we're going to come back to that. But what we need to do is we need to create a sub assembly. And so, in order to do that, I'm going to create, I'm going to save this file first, and then I'm actually going to create a new file. And I'm going to call this, go ahead and save it. I'm going to call it 002-PB dash hinge dash ASM hinge assembly we'll go ahead and copy that we don't need to, we don't need to create a um, component on that but I'm just out of habit just go ahead and do it anyway so with that in there now and I've got these two hinge bodies over here I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to um, place the hinge lower into this assembly file okay and I'm going to rotate that 180 degrees just for actually I'm not going to do that I'm going to rotate that back to zero okay that's better now what I'm going to do is I'm going to now go ahead and uh, fix that or lock that down pin it I mean I guess um, so I'll pin it in place so hopefully it doesn't move. You'll see a little pin up here somewhere. I think it's on there. Anchor on there. Okay. Now we're going to bring in the, um, that was the uh, hinge. That was the lower assembly. <clears throat> and now what we're going to do is get the hinge upper and bring it over here as well. So it's in here now. I'm going to rotate this over and I'm going to turn this around 180 degrees good I'm going to go to the right side view and I'm going to rotate this up 90 degrees which is good and I think I did that wrong let's roll out here and look at it again I'll rotate this around yeah I did it wrong okay well that's easy to fix we can fix that so we're going to come over here and rotate this around. I'm going to spin this guy around here. I'll grab this and spin it around 180 degrees. There we go. And that looks good. And I'm going to go ahead and take this and move it up. So it's kind of up out of the way. And what we're doing is pre-positioning you know, the assembly to make sure that it's going to be ready for us to pull it together. So let's go ahead and just scoot it over a little bit like that okay hit okay and we're going to rotate this around like that and I'm going to say do a joint and I'm going to select the center of that part right there that opening where the pin or, or the finishing nail is going to slide through and I'm going to say join it to this part right here okay that looks pretty good let's go ahead and check this on the side yeah I think that looks good one thing you want to look for just before you say, say okay is that you've got this clearance here where you can um, move things around without it binding up so you see that real small clearance there that's going to be good for us okay I'm liking this I'm liking this a lot but we're not done yet so what I want to do now is come to the front view and I'm going to scroll up on this and I want you to note the gap right here there's a gap right in here and there's not one there so we're going to experiment with that. We're going to say point 0.1, wrong direction. So we'll do a control Z. We're going to say, we'll try, z, uh, we'll try uh, X, negative 1. Oh, that's way too much. See what happened? Uh, that's not it at all. So we'll say 0. Okay. Sometimes you got to find it. So we'll try point 0.1. It like that, but it should have been a negative point one. Negative point one. That was a little too much. Let's go zero. Let's go even further. Let's say five. No, we'll say two. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got a little. Still got a little overlapping. So I'm gonna go back to that and roll up on that some more yeah we do have a gap in there it's pretty good you can see that i'll come up all the way up here actually still overlaps a little bit 
Let's take that negative out, make it a positive. I think we got it that time. Yep, we got it that time. That looks good. Go ahead and zoom that out. Go ahead and rotate this around. And that looks pretty awesome. Okay, so that hinge looks really good. I like that. Okay, we'll come back to this in a moment. Okay, the thing that we need to do now is we need to get some kind of a metal pin to go into this axle, I mean to, for an axle on this hinge. Um, what I normally do is I'll go to a website called McMasterCar.com. Now, don't be confused by what you see here inside of Fusion. They have actually a link where you can go link to McMaster and it'll go up and open it. And if I say finishing nail, spell it correctly, finishing nails, I can click on this. And from there I can go and I can find uh, the kind of nail I might be looking for. I can say I want a, um, you, you got different kinds of heads you can choose, like finishing nails. This is a domed head one right here. Uh, let's go ahead and clear that and try again. Click up here. I'll say a one inch finishing nail. Uh, I'll say probably a 18 gauge and I'll probably say a flat head. Now with that you can come over here and you've got several different file formats that you can download. Um, so I went ahead and nice set step which is kind of a pretty common one and I went ahead and hit download. Okay nothing happens. Well okay that's fine but I can go ahead and I can open up a web page like this and I can go to McMaster car go to it a lot as you can tell do that same to get a step step of finishing nail okay and hit enter and I'll come over here and set a size of one inch I'll set a flat head I'll say uh, 18 gauge is good let me go down here and look a little bit see which one I want Let's try 16. 16's out there. I'm going to go back up to see all again. Let's try 17. I'm actually looking for a certain one. Uh, turn that off. And I'm going to go back to 18 gauge. And let's just go ahead and open this up and see what we got. So it'll go out there and open the part up. And you can see it in CAD. Go to product detail and you can see it here, which is good. You see a lot of good information here. You see what the actual file looks like, kind of to scale on your fingers. You can see here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just download the SolidWorks file. Okay. So it says it downloaded the SolidWorks file. I'm going to go ahead and open this file up and see if I can see it. Uh, it says 3D experience. I'm going to exit that. I'm not going to go open that. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the folder where it was downloaded to, and I'm going to look at it. Okay, make sure that it's there. Uh, sure enough, in my download folders, it came in as a SolidWorks file. Okay, what I'm going to do is uh, collapse this window. And I'm going to go over here to Fusion, and I'm going to do an open, and it'll go out and say open from computer, and I'm going to go look on my download folder and there's the file and I'm going to say open. Fusion will allow you to open files, uh, will allow you to open SOLIDWORKS files and bring them right in which is kind of nice and this should do that here. We'll give it a little bit of time. It should be out there. Uh, in fact it's showing an upload progress in the the um, library. It's showing it's up uploading. We'll give it some time. But the concept I'm trying to get to here is that I want you to be able to buy something off the shelf and not have to go out, as they say, and reinvent the wheel. And what it does is it'll save you a lot of time in doing this. And so it says open file. Okay, it looks like it's trying to open it. Go ahead and open it. And there it is. There's the file. Okay. So it opened that SOLIDWORKS file, which is pretty awesome. So we're going to use that, this, this finishing nail, as the pin or hinge on as the pin or axle on a hand. I'm going to kill that window there. I'm going to go back over to here and I'm going to go ahead and um, go back to this um, file here. Open this up. Give me a second. 
and I'm going to save that into our library. And I'll save it. And I'll go ahead and bring this up and see if we can find that SOLIDWORKS file we just brought in, that, that nail. Scroll up here to the top. Yeah, I got a lot of files. There it is. Okay. So let's go back over to this hinge assembly and let's see if we can bring it in. See what happens. Ooh, it looks pretty long, but we'll see what happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it out here and I'm going to rotate it up 90 degrees and I'm going to rotate around and I'll hit OK and let's do a joint, hit the J key go up here and click on this scroll over to this view let me see if I can find that one edge and see if that nail will go up in there. Okay, it looks like it went in there. So I take this around. Sure enough, it worked. And you can see the you can see the nail coming through as a pin on the axle. That looks really good. I'm gonna kind of zoom around here and look at this just a little bit. Okay, that nail is pretty thin. Um, and in doing so, I'm gonna open up another nail that I used, and we might have to change the diameter of that. Um, shaft opening for the hinge. We'll say okay for right now. Zoom out. All right, that looks pretty nice actually. So here's what we'll do. We'll do what's called a section analysis. We'll do an insert section analysis and I'm going to select um, this mid plane here and we'll see the diameter of that shaft. Yeah, that's pretty thin. So what we'll do for that is we'll come back and modify these two parts so that they're going to be at the correct size. We we'll hit OK and we'll stop for now. As you can see right here, I have the correct tolerances right now with the nail and the hinges. Now to get to that, I had to change the nail that I was using. I was actually using the wrong nail. So what I did was is I set this to this radius or diameter here to point to 1.75. Let me go show you that in the lower assembly. So I'll open the lower assembly, lower assembly, the lower assembly, the lower hinge, I'm sorry to say. And I went and changed that diameter. To do that, I rolled all the way back over here to this sketch and I edited it. And you can see here the correct measurement. <clears throat> of 1.75 millimeters. Now I did that for both the upper hinge upper hinge part and the lower hinge part as you see right here. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that sketch. Go ahead and zoom out. Now one thing we're missing on this particular, well I'll come back to that in a moment and show you which is the correct nail to download from McMaster car. Okay I went ahead and went to McMaster car's website and I looked for a one inch 16 gauge nail with a flat head on it and I came up with this part that you see right here that I'm circling my mouse around that is the part you need to download it'll go into your downloads folder and if it does not let me know and I'll get the file to you and you take that file and that becomes your your pin for your hinge assembly for your portfolio box you download that then you come over here to you come over here to fusion and you open up that part and I've gone ahead and opened up that part in Fusion I'll show you it right here that's the nail that I opened up in Fusion I just downloaded it as a SolidWorks file and I was able to easily insert it into the pin into the uh, hole for the uh, pin on the, on the two hinge parts so that's where it went into there so let's go back and look at this so there is the actual nail right there inserted I'll turn off my analysis so you can see my section analysis and you can see the part is actually right here lo already loaded into <coughs> the hinge assembly you see the, the pointed end of the nail kind of coming out right here now one thing to note is that that pointed end will be covered up with epoxy along with this other end here I'll show you how to insert a drop of epoxy here and a drop of epoxy here and that will stabilize the pin inside the hinge assembly so you won't lose it but here's a question what do you see wrong with this assembly right here 
there's definitely something wrong with it. If you notice, there's two things wrong with it. Notice that the color of plastic up here at the top is lighter. Well, the reason it is is because it's plastic. I never came back and set the color uh, material type for this lower part of the hinge itself. Secondly, a more critical issue is if you rotate this up, you see there's no fillet right here. There should be a fillet here to give it more structural integrity. With the wear and tear on your portfolio box opening and closing it, you're going to find a problem with that particular uh, part right there. So we're going to fix that. So what I'm going to do now is come back over here to the lower assembly. I'm going to, double I'm going to click on it and open that and we're going to fix that right now. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to change that material type. So we come up here and we're going to say <clears throat> the physical material is going to be the plastic. So we'll give it a second or two here so it opens that up. I'll scroll down here to plastic and I've already got plastic open because that was the one I've been using. I'll we'll scroll down until we get to the P's and I'll keep going and we'll find that plastic in here. There it is. We'll drag it and put it on top of there. So that fixed that just fine. Let's go ahead and close that. Now we'll come up here and we'll rotate this up so I can see this, this intersection right here. So I'm going to go ahead and set uh, fill it. I'm going to select that and I'm going to key in radius of 6. Now that'll give it a lot more structural integrity in how this part will work. You, you, you're less likely to snap this part off through a lot of use of your portfolio box. So we'll rotate that around, take a look at it, we'll go ahead and save that file. And now we'll go back over here to that assembly and notice we've got our caution sign up here. So we'll click on that and we'll come back out here and that looks really good. So again, just to summarize, make sure that you download the correct mail like I did finally from McMaster car. That's the part you're looking for, the 97820A600 finishing nail. It's a 16 gauge, one inch nail with a flat head type. So that's the critical things we need to be looking for. Okay, let's get back to Fusion. Come back over here. This looks good for now. Let's go ahead and stop and come back to this. Okay, in looking at this hinge assembly right here, we need to come back and do a couple of very important things. One, we need to mount it onto the box assembly as it stands. So it'll actually be taking one assembly and mounting it to another assembly. And we'll check that to make sure that the design works and that uh, this assembly here works on that box design. And then if it does, we'll come back and we'll start working on the drawings, which should be at least four drawings. You got to do a drawing for this lower hinge part, the upper hinge part, the pin. So that would be your third one. So one, two, three. And then you have to do a drawing of the hinge assembly itself. So. We've got a lot of work ahead of ourselves and let's go ahead and get started.